What's going on, everybody? It's Matty Kiwu from South Harmon. Today, I'm giving you seven transactions to save your 2024 season. This is a breakdown of seven moves to make if you're 0 and 5, 1 and 4, hell, even 2 and 3. We're looking at the next three weeks because we need to get those wins now, dig ourselves out of the hole, and get ready to compete and make a playoff run. So, folks, Let's get into it. Transaction number one is to buy Stefan Diggs. I don't care what you have to do. Use your brand Nyukes. Use your Michael Pittman's L. Use your DK Metcalfs, but it is important to buy Stefan Diggs. The Houston wide receiver is seeing a lot of targets. He's catching a lot of footballs, and he's displaying that he still has the skills to beat opposing coverages. And right now, he has an upcoming schedule of the New England Patriots, the Green Bay Packers, and the Indianapolis Colts. All three of those matchups rank inside the top six for the most favorable for opposing wide receivers and the cherry on top doesn't really matter if nico collins's hamstring injury is severe or not whether nico's on the field or not stefan diggs is a must buy especially if you want to save your 2024 season transaction number two that will help you save your 2024 season is adding caleb williams the former number one overall pick is available in about 50 percent of sleeper in espn league so he's still out there for the getting he's played really well well, two of his last three games in week five it was his best performance as a professional offensive coordinator Shane Waldron is letting Caleb Williams throw the ball a ton and the Chicago Bears offense is playing at a pretty good pace as of now he's got the weapons DJ Moore Keenan Allen Cole Komet Roma Dunze DeAndre Swift is playing well that big boy Roshan Johnson is playing good at the goal line the offense is humming and when you look at the Bears upcoming schedule they get Jacksonville this week. They have a bye in week seven, but that's okay because there are some bye week fillers for week seven to bridge the gap. And then you fast forward to week eight at Washington, a showdown of the number one versus the number two pick. All easy matchups over the next three for Caleb Williams. It's time, folks. Get the 101 on your team if you want to save the season. Sometimes in fantasy football, you got your back in the corner. It feels like the walls are closing in. Sometimes it's hard to breathe. It feels like you're in one of Jigsaw's twisted games from the movies Saw. Saw 1, Saw 2, Saw 82, doesn't matter. One of those crazy movies. Feels like everything's getting too much. Overwhelming, hectic, chaotic. And in those moments, in those moments, folks, you have to come out swinging. And now is the time to swing for the fences and buy B. John Robinson. For those who drafted Bijan with the 101, 102, 103, he feels like he's busting so far in 2024. But when you look at the warp, the wins over replacement, he's still a top 50 player. He's been as valuable as players like Debo Samuel, Marvin Harrison, and Tyreek Hill. And despite the woes in terms of overall production, he's still evading more than three and a half tackles per game. He's creating top 10 yards per touch. Let's look at the upcoming schedule for the Atlanta Falcons. In the next three contests, they have two top five matchups. They're in Carolina and they're in Tampa. Bay and sandwiched in the middle of those two buttery, salty, awesome matchups are the Seattle Seahawks, who are on paper are a great matchup for opposing running backs. But we just saw Tyrone Tracy run for over a hundred yards against that defense. It's time to nut up or shut up, shit or get off the pot by Bijan Robinson and save this season, people. Transaction number four, and I gotta say it pains me a bit to say it, but sell Brees Hall. When you look under the hood, you'll see a number of key metrics are truly lacking in his analytical profile. He's not creating a lot of yards per touch. His juke rate is down. His breakaway run rate is down from his career highs. And then, folks, look at the upcoming schedule. He has a bottom five schedule for running backs over the next three weeks. Buffalo, Pittsburgh, and New England. Now is not the time to tread lightly. Now is not the time to be scared about trading your key players in seasonal drafts, seasonal leagues. Now's the time to get bold, get brazen. Remember, scared money 
don't make money. And if you're wondering, who do I sell Brees Hall for? There are three names that come to mind that have good schedules over the next three and feels like a fair trade, something you can negotiate within your league mates. Someone like Derek Henry, who's been great. But again, after the first two weeks, there's a little bit of an uncertainty in terms of, is the king the king or is the king had a good schedule? I think the king's the king. And I think he's a perfect candidate to try to sell Brees Hall for. Josh Jacobs, who hasn't really fired over the last handful of games, has a very favorable schedule for running backs over the next three weeks. And then, of course, the guy I just mentioned, B. John Robinson. You got Brees Hall? Turn it into B. John Robinson. Save your season. Transaction number five may be a specific one, but you can take the logic and apply it however you see fit for your league. But transaction number five, sell Josh Allen for Jordan Love. Five games this season, Josh Allen has gone nuclear. He's gone absolutely super Saiyan twice, but he's fallen flat on his face the other three contests, including a dud against the Houston Texans in week five. And when you look at the Bills' upcoming schedule, it does not get easier for quarterbacks. He has the worst matchup in the NFL right now. He goes against the Jets next week, then the Tennessee Titans, then he goes up to the Pacific Northwest to take on the Seattle Super Seahawks. It's not going to be an easy road. He doesn't have the weapons that he's had in the past. Khalil Shakur is dealing with an injury in hell. Once Wednesday hits, once the injury reports come out, you might be dealing with Josh Allen having concussion issues, making all that harder to sell. Now, on the flip side, why do you want Jordan Love instead of Josh Allen? Arizona Cardinals, Houston Texans, Jacksonville Jaguars over the next three. Two of those matchups are cupcakes, and then the one that looks like it may be tougher, the matchup against the Texans, that is going to be a projected shootout. There's going to be a lot of points scored in that contest. He's got the weapons Jordan Love does. He's got the momentum. He's getting healthier. He's on an upswing. Josh Allen is on a downswing. And even though it's going to suck to trade away the preseason consensus QB1, now is the time to do it and save your season. In week five, T. Higgins had a fantastic game. He had 14 targets, caught nine of them for 83 yards and two touchdowns. He had 29 fantasy points. But transaction number six is to sell he Higgins high. Right now, the value is at a season high and it's time to cash in. The Cincinnati Bengals over the next three games face the New York Giants, the Cleveland Browns on the road, and the Philadelphia Eagles. Three of the tougher matchups in fantasy football right now for opposing wide receivers. The targets have been there for T. Higgins. He's at 10 and 14 over the last two weeks, but 60 yards, 83 yards. He's not making big splash plays down the field. And if he's not catching the double touchdowns, the two touchdowns that he had in week five, the fantasy points just haven't been there. They're not going to save your season. So now's the time to take the value at its season peak, flip it for a player that's going to maximize their value over the next three. Players like Stefan Diggs, who I mentioned earlier in the video, Terry McLaurin, who has two really good matchups over the next two weeks. And finally, Tyreek Hill. That might be a little controversial, but Miami Dolphins are going into their bye in week six. But after they get out of their bye at Indianapolis, shootout potential and the Arizona Cardinals at home and Tua Tagovailoa should be rejoining the Finns in due time after the bye week, whether it be week seven or week eight. Tyreek Hill is always that type of player that can take it to the house, doesn't need a lot of volume to produce. And my man is due. He's been simmering under the surface. He's due for a big game. And if you're one in four, oh, and five, and you need wins now. Now's not the time to be excited about a game that happened in the past. The past, the past. We got to look forward. We got to march forward. We need to get these wins, save this season, and hope to get back in the playoff picture. That's why selling T. Higgins on a high note will help you accomplish those goals. At this point in the season, anyone who rosters Mark Andrews is looking to give him away. And if you're 0-5, 1-4 health, you're 2-3, now's the time to buy low on Mark Andrews. In week five, he had five targets, caught four of them for 55 yards. It was his most productive game on the season. He was on the field, ran the most routes at the tight end position, and he was tackled inside the five. He could have been a touchdown. I'm not going to say what ifs. What I am going to say is buying Mark Andrews is a bet on a player who has been a premium producer at a position that is downright 
terrible. Tight ends are just bad. And this year, it's worse than bad. Tight end position is horrific. And then you look at the Baltimore Ravens schedule, Washington and Buccaneers over the next two weeks. Two potential get right games for Mark Andrews. I know it's going to feel gross. It's going to make your tummy hurt a little bit because he's been so bad. But at this position, you got to take some risks. You got to try to climb that ladder and try to get someone that can produce, someone who's produced in the past, like Mark Andrews is the exact type of buy low candidate that you should do to save your 2024 season. Bro, it's just gross. It's gross. But it's tight ends, people. Save that season. Get Mark Andrews on the low. Seven transactions to save your season. Buy low on Mark Andrews. Sell high on T. Higgins. Trade Josh Allen for Jordan Love. Sell Brees Hall before it's too late. Swing for the fences and buy B. John Robinson. Add Caleb Williams and make sure you buy Stefan Diggs. I'm Matty Kewum. You can find me on X at Matty Kewum. Head on over to SouthHarmonFF.com. Get the warp tool. Join the Patreon. Get in the Discord. Become a member of the shit community. We're killing it over there. It's really exciting to see. Make sure you are subscribed to the South Harmon FF YouTube channel. Smash that like button. Leave a comment. And I'll see you next time. Bye.